Hey everyone, it's me Megs and I'm back with a clip-in tutorial. These clip-ins are from Curls Queen and this is the water kinky curly texture and I'm here to tell you all about it. I have been loving them, especially for spring and summer coming up. So I'm not new to Curls Queen. I've been wearing their hair for quite some time now and it came with this cute pack this time which came with a nice brush to define the curls with these clip-ins and the brush is really cute, nice and sturdy and I can see myself using this on other hair and it did come with some replacement clips that I did appreciate in a cute bonnet so I was like oh that's nice so this is the double wefted water kinky curly texture in 24 inches and these clip-ins are double wefted it did come with a set of 10 wefts and I will say the clip-ins I think the combs could be a little bit longer but I was able to work with it and I did enjoy that the weft itself is very thin which I do appreciate and the texture is absolutely stunning so I was a bit nervous before I installed these because I was like is this going to be enough hair but I found a solution I decided to not unravel my twist to blend with the clip-in hair itself but more so to apply apply the clip-ins on top of my twist here and leave a small leave out there. So that's how I was able to get the look. So I'm going to start out with a weft with three clips on it and actually pop those on top of my twist. So my twist that I originally had, I just pinned them down really good. So I was able to place the clip-ins on top. So this clip has four um, clips on this weft and I'm just going to go ahead and pop that on the back as well. So with my clip-ins, I always install from the back going towards the front. So this clip set has, well this weft rather, has four clips on it. So I actually, as I get higher up on my head, I use a longer weft. So it's giving full. It's The hair is really, really soft. Okay, it's really pretty and really soft where I was like, wow, I love this. And very, very full from um, top to bottom. So I'm just going to continue to place the clip-ins on top of my twist, and which I really appreciate because this is a great protective style as well. So I don't have to do too much fuss with my hair as I'm growing it out. Yes, I'm growing my hair out now. <laughs> So I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the top area here and this weft actually has three clips so I'm actually placing this around where my leave out is going to be. So just pop that in and it's really simple and easy. So I do have my leave out here. I'm going to place that to the side and use a weft that has two clips on it and place that on the other side of my head kind of giving myself kind of like a side flip over look. I didn't want any pronounced parts and oh, I didn't know there was <laughs> I did not know there was a clip in still attached to that one clip in there. So I separated that and popped that right in and it's giving full. I didn't have anything to worry about. So one pack definitely does fit a whole head. So I do have my leave out and the color match is perfect because I do have naturally dark hair and these clip-ins are nice and dark and full okay so like I said before these are 24 inches and when I unraveled my twist the blend was blending so to help blend my hair a little bit more I am gonna cut a weft into two to have one clip on the weft a tiny clip basically so I'm just going to place that at the top to fill in that area to give it a bit more fullness. And I'm going to place one more tiny clip right at the front also. So now I do have my small leave out and I'm going to go ahead and twist and blend my hair within the clip in here. And it's, it's so soft. The hair feels so good. And I'm going to use some cream of nature mousse. This is my favorite mousse to use. Um, well, not mousse, foam, whatever, foam mousse. Uh, this is my favorite um, foam to use on curly textured clip-ins and hair. So it gives it a really nice soft curl, defined curl that I love. And so I was able to get rid of the frizzy ends from the manipulation of when I was installing the clip-in. So all you need is some, you know, a good mousse and that will take care of that. The curls will pop. So to blend a little bit more, I'm just going to take some bobby pins to place my leave out. Um, so it could be nice in place and don't move, especially when the wind blows. 
So as you can see, it's giving what it's supposed to give, a really nice effortless look. I'm blended, the color matches, and with doing my twist out at my leave out, I'm really satisfied with how this is looking. So it's just really lightweight too, which is what I appreciate. I don't like clippings that are really heavy. So it was just very lightweight, very area. It didn't feel like I had too much tugging on my hair, which I did appreciate. And they snapped in pretty well, even though I would appreciate a longer comb with the clips on the weft. But the texture overall is beautiful. These were double wefted clippings. And to add some razzle dazzle for myself, I like to put a little cute, you know, um, head band to match my outfit you know doing errands and things where it just kind of gives like you know effortless like I just I'm just going outside really quick <laughs> but overall I did enjoy this clipping set from curls queen and if you are interested I do have a coupon code down in the description for you to check out for some money off your set if you're interested in trying this hair out for yourself and do check out my channel I do have more tutorials using Curls Queen textured um, hair, which I do love this brand because they have anything from 3A through 4C. So I wanna try another style with these clip-ins. I'm gonna do a full protective style and this worked great because I was a couple weeks post relaxer, a half up, half down. So I pulled the half up in the front, bunned it a little bit, and I also twisted the back and bobby pinned my ends and tucked those away. So I'm just going to go ahead and place the clip-ins just the same as I did before, track by track, snap them in. And I really love that this was a full protective style because my hair was twisted up in the back out of the way. I didn't want to blend my hair with these clip-ins because the texture was really beautiful and curly. And me having so much new growth, I didn't want to chance it, okay? So it was just easier and quicker just to pop them right on top. So with these clip-ins, you just pop them in and just make sure that you kind of use some mousse to define the ends a bit more, especially depending on how you store these clip-ins. So they're really easy to really pop and define the curls. I have to say this is one of my favorite textures by the brand. It's really easy to manipulate as far as getting those curls to pop, especially on the ends after being stored in the bag. And it's really nice and lightweight, and that's what I like about these clip-ins. And in total for this style, it took me about 20 minutes. So I'm just going to continue to place the clip-ins um, in the back half until I get all the way up to the ponytail bun at the top. So I'm going to take this really long weft here. I'm going to have to cut it in half to make it fit on the back half of my head, which I also do appreciate with this clipping set. If you do need to cut a few pieces to place in other areas, this weft is long enough for you to do that. So I really like that. And when I tell you this hair is super full, I wore my hair like this. Wait till you see the end though, but I wore my hair out like this and I got so many compliments. Like the girls were loving it. I think this is like super cute for, you know, summer months coming up, especially if you're going to be on vacay. It's just this curly hair is just super effortless. So I'm going to use two small clips. They have one clip on the weft and place that in the areas that need to be filled. Use some more cream of nature foam. I love this cream of nature foam. It's so good and moisturizing and it adds a really nice um, shine to the hair too. Really soft hold too, that's what I like. It's not crunchy on the hair. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that all over, making those curls pop just a little bit more. It didn't really need it, but you know, <laughs> I just wanted to put a little bit more to make it extra juicy. So I'm going to apply another clip there in the space just to fill everything in to make everything very seamless. I personally like applying my clip-ins close together because if the wind blows, it's undetectable. So now I'm going to take the second longest whip and I'm going to wrap that around. I'm going to do a wrap around. <laughs> I'm going to wrap that around the base of the ponytail in the front that I pinned into a bun, a little mini bun for a full protective style and just wrap it around. And you can also use some bobby pins to help secure this. And I really love that these clippings match the color of my hair. My hair is naturally dark, but you guys see I have some grays coming in. I don't know what I want to do with them yet, but this um, clipping set matches the darkness of my hair like perfect. And I'm going to use some bobby pins just to help anchor 
and secure the weft to the base of my ponytail. I'm gonna add two more for some extra fullness. So I'm gonna place this one underneath for the back area and pop that in. And I'm gonna place one at the front area and pop that in just to create a little more volume. It's totally optional, but I wanted a really full half up, half down. And I actually wanted to have some additional height. I like height when it comes to half up, half down. <laughs> so I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm like, okay, what are we gonna do here? And also I was thinking how I'm gonna hide the tracks here. So I came up with the idea to use another ouchless band and I'm just gonna create kind of like a ponytail on top of the, how can I say it's on top of the bun, but you can't see the bun because I wanted to create some height to where it kind of looks like a pineapple. So I was able to get that look. And so I used some of the hair to kind of like cover the front area Kind of like very Megan the Stallion-ish when she does her curly ponytails. So you could leave it like this or bun it. I wanted to do an actual another bun. So I used another ouchless hair tie like that. And I really liked it. I got on Instagram Live and the girls were loving it too. You guys really like this style. So I'm just going to go ahead and do some soft baby hair because I want this to look fairly like soft and easy peasy. So I'm just going to brush some of my hairs down, but don't add any extra edge control. And so that's how it looks. Everything is seamless and covered, and I'm really liking this look. I am going to go ahead and apply a little more mousse to the ends just to make sure everything looks defined and uniform. But I will say, to be honest, these clip-ins do shed a bit. And for me, from my experience with curly clip-ins, that has been a normal thing for me that the hair sheds, especially with curly hair. But uh, with that, I find that to be normal for me. And the hair is beautiful. It's very lightweight and it doesn't feel uncomfortable. And when I do these styles with clip-ins, I only wear them for a few hours and then take them out at night so I can sleep comfortably. So yeah, y'all, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And the coupon code to Curls Queen is down in the description below if you want to get some money off if you're interested in this set for yourself. And as always, stick around to catch more of my clip-in tutorials here on my YouTube channel.